Hello, I'm Judith Arcana, and I've made this tiny movie to tell you about my new book. It's called, Hello, This is Jane. And here it is in its beauty with the rose tattoo on the cover. The book is a fiction collection, which is to say, I made up these stories. Um, and I did it like the people who make movies that post at the end that line that says, based on a true story. These stories are rooted in my experience as a member of the Abortion Counseling Service of the Chicago Women's Liberation Union, a long title for what is now called Jane. The service began in 1968 and stopped work a few months after the Roe decision, which was at the end of January in 1973. So probably April of 73 would be the end for the service. During the years that the service worked, it evolved from being a few women who kept a list of local abortionists um, so they could refer people who contacted them, uh, to being a couple dozen women who were staffing an underground illegal clinic. All the members of the group were Janes. I'm a Jane. And I'm a writer. In 1998, my grief and anger at the enormous success of the anti-abortion movement in the United States prompted me to bring my Jane work into my writing work. I began to write from my experience as a Jane. The poems that I wrote are collected in a book called What If Your Mother? And the stories have now been collected in this one. Hello, this is Jane. Left Fork, the publisher that's bringing out this new story collection, um, has created a paperback and an ebook and a free, free online preview, a tiny selection of what we're calling snippets, um, all drawn from the stories. You can find that online. My thinking is that readers respond to what we find in stories quite differently from what we find in, let's say, newspapers or textbooks or medical reports. Um, examples. Once upon a time, a 15-year-old girl, and there was a woman on my block who had an IUD, but and one day, a woman whose husband had left her with three children. And not long ago, in a city on the edge of Lake Michigan, you see what I mean, I'm sure. In the face of global pandemic, the spread of the coronavirus over the earth, we considered postponing publication uh, we were thinking about the lack of large group or even medium-sized group gatherings, in-person connection. We thought we can't do that. Um, but we knew, we realized that the need for writing, reading, and action would be even greater because of the disease and because of the lockdown quarantine that followed it, that was necessary after it. So, though I never imagined that people would be reading my book, my stories, during a plague, a pandemic, I am, as I said about a dozen years ago in a guest blog for Words of Choice online, hoping like crazy, I am hoping like crazy that these stories will be read, that they'll be used. I want them to be useful.